but a comparison. Comparison of both two mobiles that everybody would wish they'd have. Those are Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay, so let's head into the comparison. So now we will be knowing what are the prices of both of these phones. And basically we will be knowing in AED. So technically, Apple 30 Pro Max is more costlier than a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. But then we will be knowing which is technically more better. So now let's head to more uh, design and other features. So when we were looking at the situation, the uh, 6.8 inch for Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and iPhone 20 for Max is 6.7 inch. And processor for S22 Ultra is Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. For Apple iPhone 20 for Max is it is Apple A15 Bionic. And for front camera for S22 Ultra is 40 megapixel and for iPhone 13 Pro Max is 12 megapixel. Rear cameras for S22 Ultra is 108 megapixel, 12 megapixel, and 10 megapixel. For 12 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro Max it is 12 megapixel uh, in the three means three cameras are 12 megapixel. For RAM of S22 Ultra is 8 GB and 12 GB. For iPhone 13 Pro Max it's not given. When you the storage of the S22 Ultra. 128 GB, 256 GB, 512 GB, and 1 terabyte for both of them are steam. Battery capacity for S22 Ultra is 5000 mAh, but for iPhone 13 Pro Max it is 4382. But it's not given here, but I know it is 4382 mAh. For OS Android 12 for S22 Ultra and iPhone 13 Pro Max it is iOS 15. And uh, resolution is uh, uh, not given for S22 Ultra, but it is given for iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is 1,284 into 2,778 pixels. Now let's go to the uh, ratings. Ratings. Overall rating for Samsung S22 Ultra is 9, and for iPhone 13 Pro Max it's also 9. Design rating for Samsung is 9, and for iPhone it's 9. Display rating for Samsung is a whopping 10, and for iPhone it's 9. Software rating of the Samsung and Apple is the same. Uh, performance rating, uh, both are the same also. They are 10. And battery life rating for Samsung is a little lower. It's a 9 and for iPhone it's a 10. Camera rating for Samsung is 10 and for iPhone it's a 9. Value for money rating is uh, money rating in Samsung has a 8 and an iPhone has a 7. So now let's head to the general specifications in which we get to know about the brand and all the stuff. So we obviously know what is the brand and the model. And if you guys don't know, we're going to be doing about Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max. So now it's release date. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra will be released in February 9, 2022, whereas Apple uh, uh, 13 Pro Max will be on September 14, 2021. Now. Uh, it is launched, both of these phones are launched in India and its dimensions include Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra dimensions are 163.30 into 77.90 into 8.90 whereas for Apple it is 160.80 into 78.10 into 7.65 I think there are slight differences in their dimensions Now, for the weight Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra weighs 229 grams whereas Apple weighs 240 grams that means Apple is more heavier than Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now for the IP rating. Both of the phones consist IP68 with the battery capacity. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra consists of 5000 mAh, whereas it's undefined for Apple. Now for the removal battery, Apple, uh, Apple does not consist any removal battery because it's clearly undefined. And for Samsung, I don't think there is. Now for the wireless charge, both of the phones are capable for wireless charging and for the colors, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has many colors such as phantom black or white and even green. Um, and, or, and also for the Apple, we got graphite, gold, silver or even Sierra blue as you guys can see on the screen. Now for the form factor, it is touch screen for the Apple and whereas it is not touch screen for Samsung. Like um, Samsung is also touchscreen mobile, whereas Apple is also a touchscreen mobile. Now, for fast charge, both the phones are proprietary, you know, except for Samsung, as Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is, is undefined. Now, let's head to know more other specifications, such as display. 
So when you compare the displays, the screen size of um, I, I Strange World Far, as I said in the beginning of the key specification, is a 6.8 inch and for iPhone 13 Pro Max, 6.7 inch touchscreen, yes, for both as uh, uh, tech was uh, tool and uh, protection type is not like glass, which is for uh, uh, Strange World Ultra and uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max, it is not given, refresh rate for uh, Strange World Ultra is not given, restoration also not given, PPI is also not given, but for iPhone 13 Pro Max, refresh rate is 120 hertz. Resolution 1284 into 2778 pixels. Pixels per inch is 458 ppi. Now let's to the hardware comparison. Hardware. Processor for Samsung S20 Ultra is off the core and for iPhone is hexa-core. Processor may have processor making uh, for Samsung S20 Ultra is Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon uh, 8, gen uh, 8 Generation 1. For Apple, uh, it's Apple A15 Bionic. RAM for Samsung S20 Ultra is 8GB and 12GB. For Apple, it's undefined. Uh, Samsung uh, for internal storage is 128GB, 125GB, 126GB, 512GB, and 1TB. For Apple, also it's the same. For it's 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB. For Samsung, ex ex expendable storage, no. Uh, for uh, Apple, it's not given. For Samsung dedicated micro SD slot, uh, it's not given. And for Apple, it's not also, not also given. Yes, now let's know about the camera. So, as for the rear camera, we've got 108 megapixel plus 12 megapixel plus 10 megapixel. Whereas for Apple, we've got all the three cameras, or for all the rear cameras, 12 megapixel. Now for the number of rear cameras. Uh, Samsung has four rear cameras, whereas Apple has three rear cameras. And for the rear autofocus, uh, Samsung has face effect and autofocus, whereas uh, Apple has not. It's undefined. And for the rear flash, uh, Samsung is having rear flash, whereas for Apple, it doesn't have any rear flash. Now for the front camera. Apple consists of 12 megapixel, whereas Samsung consists of 40 megapixel. The number of front cameras are both have each one front camera. And Samsung has autofocus, front autofocus, whereas uh, Apple is really undefined. Now, I really know why Samsung has more rating than Apple in camera wise. Now, when we compare the software wise, the operating system of uh, S22 Ultra is Android 12 and Skin is 1 UI 4. Uh, and uh, for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it is iOS 15, as I said earlier, in the starting. And Skin is not given. Now, let's set to the connectivity comparisons. Samsung S22 Ultra, Wi Fi, it has. Apple, uh, for Apple also, yes, it has. Wi Fi standard support uh, supported. For Samsung S22 Ultra 802.11 uh, AX and for uh, Apple it's 802.11 ABGN AC and AX. For uh, GPS for Samsung S22 Ultra, yes, it has. Apple also it has. Bluetooth for Samsung S22 Ultra, it has. Yes, it has version 5.20. For Apple, it also has, but version 5.00. For Samsung NFC, yes, it has. Apple also it has. USB uh, Type C for Samsung it has, for uh, Apple it does not. For number of SIMs for uh, Samsung is 2, and for Apple also it's 2. Wi Fi Direct for Samsung it has, and uh, for Apple it does not. Active 4G on both SIM cards, yes, uh, Samsung S22 Ultra has that, for Apple iPhone 30 Pro Max doesn't have that. Lighting for uh, S22 Ultra is undefined, for Apple, um, yes, it has very good lighting. Now, when you uh, compare the SIM 1 and then la last is the SIM 2, but for SIM 1, we will do comparison. So, SIM type for uh, both are Nano SIM, GSM, 3G, 4G, LTE, 5G. And the uh, last thing is the SIM 2. So, when you compare the S uh, SIM 2, uh, nothing is given for the S22 Ultra, but uh, eSIM, GSM, yes, uh, and yes uh, for uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now let's go to the sensors comparison. Yes, so as we go from the sensors, it has fingerprint sensors and it also has in-display fingerprint sensors. 
whereas for the compass and the magnometer, there is both for Samsung and Apple. But for the, uh, the fingerprint sensor and the English Play fingerprint sensor, Apple is clearly undefined for it. Now for the proximity sensors, both have proximity sensors, both have accelerometer, ambient light sensor, and gyroscope. And they also both have barometer. But whereas for 3D face recognition, only Apple has that and Samsung, whereas, is undefined. If you guys want more tech videos like this, you guys have to scroll down, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and turn on the notification bell. If you turn on, you guys will get notified if we send you a new video weekly. My name is Nathaniel. My name is Jonas. My name is Jonas. And we are Tech World signing off. <laughs>